Okay, I had to do, pull the heads off this Toyota 3.0 and I had to have a new valve put in it and I'm just going back together and doing the timing belt and water pump and everything. So I thought I'd show a few little things that have helped me in the past and make the job a little easier. Um, it's kind of hard to get a impact down in here. That and to hold the uh, pulley when you have to pull this flywheel pulley off here or the um, crankshaft pulley. So, if you have a couple bolts you don't mind sacrificing, just go ahead and thread them in because they'll bend a little bit. Then you can just wedge a pry bar like so. Stick a socket on the front bolt there and just go ahead and break it loose. It works really well to hold it and then your bolts are a little bent in the end, but that's okay. All right, this crankshaft pull usually doesn't come off very easy, so I got my handy snap-on puller. You can go probably get one from O'Reilly too. They usually rent them out. And go ahead and pull the pulley off, and then we can start getting everything else pulled off and get all of our gears lined up. Okay, I've got everything into place here, and there's one of two ways to, to do this whole project as far as getting the belt in position and the tension. The manual tells you to pull this gear off, and after you get the whole belt routed where it needs to be, you put the gear in place with your mark lined up with your mark on the belt, and then you slide it on and torque the bolt. The problem is, unless you have the right tool to hold the gear, it's a little bit of a pain. In order for me to torque this bolt, I had to have the valve cover off and hold the camshaft with a wrench. And so, since I already had the plenum off, um, this way was really easy, and I'm not sure how easy it would be to access these bolts right here. That, and you might break the seal and leak coolant after you put it back together. But, I guess if you're putting a new one of these on anyways, then go ahead and do it. But, um, with these bolts loose, get everything in position, get your, get your camshaft on, get everything zip tied, and then with this loose, you can go ahead and rotate this a little bit until the belt's fairly tight right through here. And then you have enough space to, to get the belt on your water pump, get it in place on the crankshaft, and then go ahead and tighten this thing back down and you'll be in business. And then we'll go and look at the tensioner portion. Okay, I got everything on. I tightened the bolts back down. Actually, I ended up just pulling that uh, pulley completely off. Helped a lot more. So, that mark's lined up, that mark is lined up, and that mark is lined up. And especially this right, this portion of the belt right here is tight. This one will be a little bit loose still until you um, put the tensioner on. But you definitely want this tight right here. Okay, here's the new tensioner. And you can see that there's a pin going through that holds a little ram rod back. So here's the old tensioner and you can see that little hole right there. You have to put this tensioner in a vise because it's really really stiff and you have to put compress it down with a vise until this hole is lined up with that hole and you can go ahead. I usually put a really small nail in there then after you install the tensioner right in this hole right here. It's kind of hard to see. Right in this hole it'll push on the pulley and put the right tension on it. Okay, I got the tensioner installed and I went ahead and pulled the pin out and it's nice and tight now. And everything should be lined up and if I did it right when I start it, it'll run just great. Good luck.